Hello friends, welcome back to Mudstart. I'm your friend Ashish Pardi, Microsoft Architect. In today's session, we are going to talk about a very important topic that is the health check testing of your public APIs and private APIs. So public APIs are basically those APIs which are accessible from the public internet. Anyone can access those APIs. Those can be mule APIs, those can be you know, non-mule APIs, and those will be deployed in public location. This public location can be your shared VPC. Right. Private VPs are like those are deployed inside your own private network. We call it VPC. And those will be accessible either from the dedicated load balancer or the other API which are dedicatedly deployed under the same VPC. Okay. And this we call it this is a private location. So let's say I wanted to check, you know, periodically the health of these APIs. Okay. So this can be achieved via functional monitoring okay so there we can create the monitors and periodically we can check the health of any of our api whether it can be public or private so let's talk about functional monitoring what exactly api functional monitoring means okay it's a it's actually a framework okay and it allows us to you know uh, you know check the accessibility of the public api and private api okay and the you know it enables actually the developers and the operators to perform consistent testing of the functional behavior okay of you know and the performance of your uh, of your apis which are deployed in either in your private location or in your public location okay so throughout the life cycle we, you know this functional monitoring will be help us to you know check the you know availability or you know reachability of your APIs. Okay, so there are multiple uh, you know, different kind of testings like white box testing, black box testing. So this comes under you know there is one more section now added that runtime monitoring. Okay, so these sections which we are going to discuss that comes under the runtime monitoring section. Okay, so we'll be creating monitors and then we'll be checking the you know uh, health of the API. So today I'm going to you know uh, going to you know, pick the public api which is non mule okay so let me go ahead and log into my uh, anypoint platform so once you log into your anypoint platform go to your anypoint monitoring sections you'll find that section inside the this one okay once you log in here you'll find this section called functional monitor Okay, so this is comes with the titanium in trial account, you won't be finding it. Okay, so once you go to the functional monitoring, this is a new layout they have added now. We can go to the back layout also. So, in this new layout, they have added that before creating monitors itself, so you can uh, preview your monitor, you can run the monitor and see the results. Okay, so let's try and create the monitor. Okay, so here they have given three steps. So, we'll create this monitor in three steps from the scratch. So we'll give a you know our monitor name, user, sapi, health check. Okay. Now here you can see we can select the location. You can see here there are public locations. These are like US East One, East Two. These are public locations. And if you have private locations, you, you can have your own VPC inside that. You can have your private location. So if you want to if you want to create a health check monitor for your private apis then those apis will be accessible from your private locations only those are not accessible from public locations so you need to be very careful when you are creating health check for your private apis so go to your private location create a location over here and then try to access those private apis and now we are going to create a health check for you know non mule api which is public api so let's go ahead and select us east one and then you select the monitor here okay so monitor schedule you can select either of this if you wanted to go for a different than this you can go for the cron expression you can add cron expression so every minute let's say you wanted to try right so you can go with the five stars you can go with the five stars that is you know every minute okay but right now i wanted to go with the 15 you know every 15 minutes so i'll check that okay next part is let's add the endpoint. 
so these monitors are right now they are checking the health of only http apis okay so let me add my public api so this is the api this is publicly available anybody can access this okay and then if he, if your api is secured api and it's expecting some header parameters like client id and client secret right you can add those client id and client secret over here right now my api is not expecting any headers so i'm not adding anything okay you can check for the methods what exactly your api is expecting you can go with the, those methods okay so these are the methods available now you wanted to check the assertions what you you wanted to check whether you want to check the response body response header or status code i'll go with the status code based on your requirement you select the option so i'm checking that status code should be equal to you know 200 okay now you can add as many assertions as you want okay for example here we added 200 then go for response body and check the response body okay now as i said we can preview before that now there is no limit on adding the endpoints so right now i have added just a single endpoint you can go ahead and add multiple endpoints there is no limit over there okay you can go and as many you know endpoints you can add in one monitor okay i don't want to add this i'll just delete it okay so i have only one endpoint for now to monitor then as i said we can preview this was not there in the old layout so this preview said like let me check whether this you know endpoint is reachable or not right away so i can go ahead and you can see that yes it's reachable and it's generating 200 as a status quo okay we'll simply say that next and we'll say here now for example when we are checking the health of your api whether it's a private api or public api you want to notify someone okay if it is down you wanted to so maybe the responsible person for that particular API, okay, or your specific team, then you can add this notifier, okay? So look at here, these are the integrations available over here. If you are Slack, go ahead and give your webhook over here, okay, API URL. If you don't have these integrations available, you can simply go with the email. So I'll give my email address, okay? And then click on this plus, okay? Then only it will add that. Once you add this email ID, you go ahead and create monitor. Okay, let it create. So per business unit, you can create five monitors. So that, that is, there is a limit. Per business unit, you can create the five monitors. And in each monitor, you can add N number of, you know, endpoints. Okay, from here, you can see, since this is a new layout, okay, I could see they have changed it. So view. So here you can see that you can run directly here. Okay. You can go ahead and say in which location you wanted to run. Go with the default configuration and run now. Okay. It is passed. Okay. Here you can see the you know view monitor history. See here both are. Let me run one more time so that we can see good amount of history okay it's pending yeah okay so three times we ran it uh, first two crunch it took around seven seconds third time took three seconds okay now that is that is the run part okay you can go and check the history also here you can add multiple schedules okay so right now we have every 15 minutes right you can add and change the schedule or you can add the extra schedules okay that is also possible over here now let's go here you can either edit the monitor you can download the monitor and you wanted to upload this monitor in a different environment okay you can go ahead and upload this you know monitor to that environment you can delete the monitor also okay so let's go ahead and see the history of this you can see right you can go ahead and download the json okay so let me see what exactly is there in that. Let's go to the folder. Okay, so this is the output we have seen. Okay, you can see that this is the
Okay, you can see that this is HTTP, this is the URL we have hit. And this is the response, okay, everything is there. Okay, what was happened with that, you know, uh, monitor execution. So this was the output of that URL, okay. Yeah. So this way, even this data, you can use it, you can download it and, uh, you know, Either you want to keep it for audit point of view, or if you want to generate some charts and show that this monitor is behaving this way, you can do that. Okay, so let me go back to my environment again. Okay, here back to monitor. Here we can use the old layout also. So this option is there. You can go ahead and see. Okay, then you can manage locations. Use as I said. There are there are two locations, public locations and private locations. You can manage it from here. As I said, we can upload the monitor. Okay, so if we have previous configured monitor downloaded, you can upload it here. And yeah, you can see there are different sections here. Go to failed, past, and pending executions. Okay, so this sections is really helpful as a monitor point of view, and uh, you wanted to see the you know, behavior uh, of your APIs, you know, health check, you know, periodically, whether your APIs are still reachable and behaving as per the, you know, requirement, okay? So that's all from these sessions and, uh, you know, hope you liked it, hope you feel it's useful for your, you know, your requirements or in your project. So hit the like button, subscribe the channel if you're not done and see you in the next sessions. Thank you, bye-bye.